Hey guys, so today I want to check out the uh, Formula 1 2016 game here on iOS. So basically it is a racing game and uh, I wanted to check it out just because it was so expensive so I thought maybe some of you want to check out how it kind of looks but you don't want to buy it, you don't know if it's cool. Uh, so it looked pretty cool. Uh, so I want to check it out here a little bit quick uh, so you can get an idea of how it is and how it looks and all of those good things so let's just uh, try it out a little bit here on the iPhone 7 Plus uh, with the latest iOS 10 Listen, I'm gonna restart Here we are in Russia in the scenic Black Sea resort of Sochi where this purpose-built track is described as one of the most impressive tracks on the floor So I gotta say the graphics looks very very nice uh, You can see the starting grid here have the car set up as it starts. Something I noticed with controls is you kind of want to have like uh, you kind of want to hold down uh, the steering wheel all the time. You, you don't want to put up your thumb from the screen because the steering wheel is kind of nice. You can just like slide along everywhere on the screen. Not all games works kind of like that. I also, what I have done is I have disabled like assistance because it makes the game a little bit more boring, I think. Uh, but this thing that shows kind of like the lines, the green lines on the road and sometimes go red when you need to use the brakes, that's kind of useful to have. Of course you can disable that as well. But I gotta say it's a pretty cool game uh, if you want to have a nice uh, racing game here on iOS. From what I did see, it doesn't look like it's available at the moment on uh, Android. When I checked in the App Store or in the Play Store on my Swedish store. And of course, they have um, they have also controls where you can uh, uh, controls where you can just uh, tilt the device. Uh, for steering and you can also of course adjust how much uh, breakage you want uh, to happen when you hit stuff but it's not that hard to get into and uh, learn how to navigate the car Now we're going inside of the pit. Oops, a bit too fast. So now it's doing the pit stuff, repairing it. And you can see on the green line up here, when it's like uh, doing stuff in there. But yeah, as I said, it doesn't look like it has some kind of in-app purchase, which is nice. That could probably be why the game costs up my, a lot of money. Can't cut corners. So I haven't noticed any frame drops at the moment, which is nice. And of course it's a little bit harder here to drive when I'm doing a video focusing on two things at the same time. Let's see, can we do some damage? Oops, I think I damaged the front wheel. Let's do more damage. 
Oh. So you can see there the, the pit, what I need to repair. Of course you can change uh, this one if you want to see it from a different angle. This is a kind of like a nice angle actually. So yeah, it's a quick little video, checking it out, hopefully you did enjoy it and uh, yeah, have a great day.